What's going on, everybody? Cigar Show Tim here with another edition of Tobacco Talk, where I review a cigar and then I give you my thoughts on it in four key areas. Flavor, draw, construction, burn, everything you want to know about that cigar, but it's from my palate's perspective. And then I rate it as whether I think it's no worthy or not. So the cigar for this review is one that was gifted to me by one of my cousins, and he said he checked it out, he loved it, he really wanted my take on it. So what better way to let him know my take on it than to do a review? So this edition of Tobacco Talk, the review is a cigar from Dissident Cigars. I have not reviewed anything uh, from the Dissident lines, um, so why not go ahead and do it now? So the cigar for this review is the Dissident Home. The cigar right there. It is a box press and it is a pretty firm box press as you can see right there. It is a barber pole as well as you can see by the two different shades of wrapper leaf on it. So, we're gonna review it and check it out. Only one way to do that. <laughs> Let's light it up. All right, I went ahead with a straight cut, as you can see right there. And on the cold draw, I'm picking up notes of dried fruit, mostly like raisins, a little bit of like a, a sweet green grape raisin, and then I'm actually picking up some milk chocolate in as well. So, those are up. Okay, upon initial light up, lots of woodiness. Lots of woodiness right off the bat. The aroma off of it, it's very pleasing. It's like a light wood campfire kind of barbecue smell. Very nice. Uh, and then there's that strong woodiness followed up with some of that like cocoa powder chocolate note that's in there. And it's really, really pleasing to go from the woodiness to the chocolate. It's it's almost like you're going from having a barbecue to eating dessert and having s'mores. So really good, interesting. Well, when I come back at the end of the first third, I'll let you know any flavor notes that I'm picking up. I'll let you know a little bit more about the cigar in terms of the blend, and we'll go from there. Okay, at the end of the first third, let me show you how the burn is doing. You can see right there. There's the burn on the cigar. Got a little bit of a wave to it. Box presses usually are a little bit tougher to get a straight burn on. But overall, it is not doing bad. It's just that little bit on that side there. So, I could complain, but I won't. Let's get into the flavor notes of this before we talk about the uh, history of it, the blend, all that fun stuff. So, flavor notes in the first third. The wood quickly went away and was replaced by earthiness in the first third real quickly after the initial light up. But there's this really nice sweet tobacco note that's coming in as well that's complementing it very very well with that earthy note and that cocoa chocolate is definitely coming through it's a really nice harmony between the earthiness that sweet note that's in there that sweet tobacco and the chocolate uh, that's coming through i would say that it's close to probably a milk chocolate uh, than a dark chocolate or like the bitter cacao baking powder it is much more like a milk chocolate. Very smooth, very savory, great smoke output. The draw is doing very well. Box presses can be a little bit tricky when it comes to the draw on cigars, but this one is performing very, very well. And so let's talk about the uh, cigar and the history of it. So the Home was first released in 2015 and Dissident Cigars has changed hands a couple different times. So Sin Coburn currently is the owner of Dissident Cigars. That change over of ownership took place in 2022, last year. And previous to that, Benjamin Holt was the owner of it. And when he had it, he released the home in 2017, 2018, and 2019. But with the changeover of ownership, there was a hiatus for one year on this cigar being released. And so 2023 now is when this limited edition, it is a limited release, but they don't say how many cigars are manufactured, but it is a limited release cigar. And there's a difference when you look at the band on the way they've done the branding now compared to the way that it was before. So let me show you that. So if you look at the bands now, look at it right there, you can see that it says Dissident Home and the H is a red letter. And what used to be on the bands underneath where it says home, and it was a very different design as well, there used to be the year for that release. The year used to be on the band, so in 15, the first year that it was released, it was there. Second, um, you know, 
section of them being released in 17, 18, and 19. They had the years on them as well. Now in 2023, after the changeover of ownership, there is no longer the year put on the band, but since this was a big change in the way that the bands have been done and the branding and all of that, this one kind of stands out and is pretty obvious that it's different from the previous years. Obviously, it doesn't have the year on it as well. That makes it a big difference. Let's talk about the blend on this cigar. The blend on this is it features a barber pole, so it's a dual wrapper, and it has a uh, Ecuadorian Maduro and Corojo double wrapper on it as you can see the two-tone wrappers there it features an ecuadorian binder and then all the filler tobacco is from nicaragua so that's the blend on the cigar you now know the backstory on it you know that it's changed ownership a little bit but let's jump back into the cigar i'm going to go into the second third when i come back i'll let you know more of any flavor profiles that i'm picking up any transitions i'd say the strength on this right now is probably sitting at about a medium minus not crazy strong but it's got a little bit of strength there with the deep flavors and the full body experience as well that go along with it so i'm going to jump into the second third and when i come back i'll let you know more information and we'll go from there okay at the end of the second third let me show you where the burn is right now it is doing better than it did at the end of the first third much straighter yes i'm getting down to the band doing much better and a much straighter burn than it had when it was at the end of the first third okay let's talk about flavor notes in the second third the flavors developed a little bit more and they got to an area that i really really enjoy so the earthiness is still there that sweet tobacco note is still there the chocolate note is still there as much of a milky chocolate, but there's this nice creamy note that's come in there. There's like a, a creamy nuttiness that's in there. And with the sweetness of the sweet tobacco with that creamy nuttiness, it is really, really hitting my palate very, very well right now in the second third. And I am enjoying it. The draw on this is still doing very well. No problems with it whatsoever. No soft spots, no plugs, nothing like that at all. And the strength on this, I would say, is a good solid medium now. It's ramped up a little bit. I don't know if it's going to get any stronger, but it's sitting at a good solid medium at this point right now. Plenty of smoke output, very silky smooth smoke, and it's not a thin, wispy smoke output. It is very full and just silky smooth, really, really nice, really enjoyable in the second third. So I'm going to go in and smoke through the end of the cigar. When I come back, I'll let you know of any flavor transitions yet again. And I'll let you know whether I think this cigar is nubworthy or not. All right, let's wrap up this review. Here's where the burn is at the end of the cigar. You can see there, it looks like it's doing well, but it does have a wave to it. Not crazy canoeing, but it's definitely getting closer. If there was more of the cigar left, I think it would start to canoe and I would want to touch it up, but I didn't touch it up as the cigar is finishing off. Okay, let's talk about flavor notes as the cigar is wrapping up because there's a new flavor that came in and a flavor, a couple flavors um, that have faded away. The chocolate, which was a really creamy milk chocolate for the majority of the cigar is back to like a baking cocoa, a cacao powder. Uh, it's not bitter, but it's definitely not the sweet chocolate note that it was. The nuttiness with the creamy note which i really really loved did fall away and you really only pick that up on the long finish when you retrohale the earthy note is the most prominent flavor note as the cigar is wrapping up but the second flavor note that is really pretty prominent here as the cigar is wrapping up is a white pepper it's coating my entire palate, but when you retrohale, it gets a little bit closer to a black pepper than just a white pepper, but it's not off-putting. It's not anything that makes you go, okay, that burned. Whoa, that's a crazy pepper bomb. It's nothing like that at all. So <clears throat> with those flavor notes, with the transitions, with how the experience has been for me, do I think it's nubworthy? I do th think this is a nubworthy cigar. I have really enjoyed it. That second third is really where I just found the sweet spot for it. Uh, not because of the sweet tobacco note mixed with the creaminess and all of that, uh, but it was just a really good balance that my palate enjoyed. The sweet tobacco note is pretty much gone now. It's just the earthiness followed by the white pepper. And then again, on the long retro or uh, long finish on the retro hail, you do pick up a little bit of that um, just balance with all of the flavors coming together uh, in a really nice way. I do think this is nubworthy because it's one that 
has good transitions in it the construction on it yeah the burn at the end is a little bit off but the construction the draw has been very good the entire time it didn't loosen up at the end it didn't get tight no problems with that and i'd say that it finished off at a good solid medium plus it's not full strength in my opinion but it's definitely a good solid medium strength with the cigar at the end if you've had the 2023 edition of the dissident home i'd love for you to put some comments down below let me know your thoughts what were your thoughts on it if you've had the or what are your thoughts on it if you've had any of the earlier iterations this is the first year that i've tried the home it is limited and i have not had the 2021 uh 20 or 19 and i didn't have the first year that this was released in uh 2015 but i do really enjoy this cigar so leave me some comments let me know what you think about it what has your experience been with it but that's going to do it for this edition of tobacco talk enjoy your cigar journey everybody i'm cigar show tim as always, I'll see you.